in that in that example in the very first slide my set of points was this set of points negative one zero one two and my set of values was this set of values one one three one so I needed a polynomial there which at this point delivers one at point zero delivers one at point one delivers three and at point two delivers one that's the kind of polynomial we found on my first slide via row echelon form Gaussian elimination and all of these things now I can do the same question with the Lagrange polynomials first I give my Lagrange polynomials here we go it's the fourth order Lagrange polynomial polynomials because we have four points and here's my first polynomial look at this in the enumerator I take linear brackets with every number from this set except for the very first number in the denominator I take the enumerator where X is replaced with the first number so in the, enumer in the denominator that's the factor I have in the denominator negative 1 here negative 1 here and negative 1 here is my first Lagrange polynomial of order 4 you can check this that this polynomial at the point negative 1 delivers 1 right if you put negative 1 across this expression it will be exactly 1 and oops I'm sorry and my polynomial the same polynomial delivers 0 value for any other point in my set for x 0 1 and 2 second order Lagrange polynomial the same construction linear brackets for these points except for the second point this time for the point zero here's my linear brackets in the denominator I take my numerator at the point zero is a value again you can check that this polynomial delivers one at point zero and it delivers zero and at every other point negative one one and two denominator what's wrong with the denominator something is wrong with the denominator hmm. well we still have two other Lagrange polynomials here they are the third one again I take my linear brackets with the points here except for the third point this time is my linear brackets and my denominator is the one which which will which will appear if I use the enumerator with the value 1 instead of x here it is 2 1 and negative 1 And the last Lagrange polynomial, that's the one with linear brackets. Now the last point is missing. This point two is missing. And here's the coefficients at the bottom. It's x here. For, it, uh, I use two for x here, two for x here, and two for x here. For these two, for these two polynomials, the same will be true. My third polynomial at the point one, at third point delivers one and at every other point it delivers zero and my fourth polynomial delivers one at fourth point two and at every other point it delivers zero so having all of this having these polynomials written if I'd like to solve my interpolation problem from the very last slide, all I have to do, I have to write this combination. I have to write this, by the way, linear combination. I take my polynomials with these coefficients. 1 of L1, 1 of L2, 3 of L3, because of 3 here, and 1 of L4. And that is the polynomial which solves my polynomial interpolation problem. If you if you do the arithmetic, I don't expect you to do it by hand, but you can try. I mean, it's a very good exercise uh, in MATLAB to produce a function which uh, returns to Lagrange polynomials. I'm not sure actually if MATLAB has its own built-in functions to produce the Lagrange polynomials of particular order. But if you do take those polynomials, if you feed them into the MATLAB and if you do these simplifications MATLAB can do that or you can do it by hand if you do the expansion that will be exactly the polynomial we found with you on the first slide